Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is a little bit different. I'm gonna talk about the seven best places to photograph birds in the United States. So my number one spot is Nome, Alaska, and it's my number one spot just because I'm gonna go from north to south and from west to east. Nome is special because birds come from Asia, like the blue throat. Birds come from Africa, like the northern wheat ear. Pacific golden plovers come from the South Pacific, Hawaii and the South Pacific. So birds come from all over the world to breed and nest in Alaska in the summertime. And so the middle of June is the perfect time to go to Nome. And you're going to see some pretty cool birds, pretty unusual birds. And one of those birds that's really cool is the bristle-thighed curlew, which you have to go to Hawaii or the South Pacific to see it. Spot number two is out in the middle of the desert in Oregon, and it's a great big lake or a series of lakes, and it's called Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. It's over 187,000 acres. Roger Torrey Peterson said it was one of the best places to see birds in the United States because there's just such an immense amount of birds, breeding birds there in the summertime. If you go there at the end of May, you're going to get songbirds, warblers. If you go there in June, it's going to be breeding shorebirds and other birds that use the lake for as a breeding grounds. If you go in July, you're going to find common nighthawks soaring through the air. And then there are burrowing owls and lots of other birds there. Number three is San Diego County in California. I say San Diego County because it's just not the city of San Diego. You want to go to La Jolla where these brown pelicans will come into this place near the cave store. You want to go to Santee Lakes for wood ducks. You want to go to Lake Hodges for running grebes. You want to go to the beach by the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. Lots of different places to go photograph birds in San Diego County. Just to give you an idea, San Diego County has over 420 species of birds and in January it's one of the nicest warmest places to go. So next is Southeast Arizona. Go to Tucson, Arizona. Go down south to a place called the Pond at Elephant Head and you can look it up online or on Facebook. It's a great place to start photographing birds in the Sonoran Desert. And then from there, go up to Madera Canyon. The same guy operates what's called the Drip in Madera Canyon. And you can get some fabulous birds there like this hepatic tanager, acorn woodpeckers. Southeast Arizona gets a lot of birds coming up north from Mexico. In August, it's great for hummingbirds, but it's also the monsoon season. So it could be wet or it could be very humid. But it's a great place to photograph birds. And then Bosque del Apache in New Mexico. Fly to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Go 90 miles south to the refuge. And it is the best place to photograph flying birds. If you want to do birds in flight photography and get really good at it, spend a week here because the cranes and the snow geese fly by all the time and you're going to get tons of opportunity to photograph birds in flight. Also, the light is beautiful. The refuge is at 4,000 feet. There are incredible sunrises and sunsets. You can do a lot of creative photography there and it's basically like the Grand Canyon. Everybody needs to go there at least once in their life to photograph birds and to see the spectacle of so many snow geese and cranes. And then there's the Texas coast. Go there in mid-April. There are huge migrations of warblers going through that place. And that is beautiful to photograph at High Island. But also near Galveston, there are least terns and shorebirds. There's also rookeries of herons and egrets. And so it's a fabulous time to be on the coast in the springtime. And I don't have very many photos of it, but I will be there next April. I was going to be there this April, but a little thing called uh, a pandemic happened. And then my seventh spot is Southwest Florida. Go to Fort Myers. There are a Dozens and dozens of places in Florida to photograph birds that are just epic. I like going from Fort Myers all the way up to uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, lots and lots of different places. It's easy to photograph birds there. They're tame. You can get really close to them. Uh, you'll have a great time. And it's number seven on my list. Okay, so those are my top seven places in the United States to photograph birds. So in the comment section below, Make a list of your top 10 places to photograph birds in the United States or give me three more places that I should uh, put in my top 10 list to round this out. 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to learn more about bird photography, pick up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. Besides teaching you all the field techniques of bird photography, there's an appendix in the book that lists by week where you should go and take pictures of birds throughout the United States. Hey, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out, and then click on that little bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.